All right, we are now to week seven and eight in cycle one. We are continuing our study of biology. So let's start by defining our terms. What is biology? The study of living organisms and their vital processes. Or again, our simplified version, the study of living things. Um, so this next segment or next quarter of six weeks, we're gonna be doing some kind of experiential experience, experiments, experiential opportunities, um, which are a lot of fun. So this video just kind of goes over week seven and eight. Week seven, we're doing an animal nature walk. In week eight, we're doing the plant nature walk. Both of these will require some decent weather so we can go outside and walk around um, and look for things. So for each of these weeks, the, each child will have a little paper notebook as well as they already have pencils and every tutor will be given um, just a plastic bag so you can collect any treasures that you might find along your walks. Week seven, again, we're focusing just on the animals. And so each week, if you wanna use a scripture to kind of start with, Colossians 1:16 says, for by him, all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions, principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. So when you go on these walks, just remind the kids, bring wonder to their mind that all the things we see were created by our Father in heaven and for his glory. And so some things that you wouldn't normally find beauty in, like a roach or a mosquito or um, fungus, some things that you wouldn't necessarily um, appreciate normally, that scripture, in my mind, put things in a different category. You see value in all things, be it animals or be it um, dead leaves and their purposes in decomposition and plant growth. Um, so there's lots of processes happening. And so create that wonder for your kids and bring them back to the truth that all of these things were created by him and are for his glory. All of these things, including us, have purpose and have value. And scripture tells us that as truth. So on week seven, we're gonna walk outside. You can do a couple things. You can have the kids just walk and enjoy, talk about what you see, any animals you find. Um, when you find an animal, um, is it an insect? Is it a mammal? Is it a reptile? Um, is it a bird? So what kind of animal is it? Um, in the family classification of animalia. And is it a vertebrate or is it an invertebrate? Um, so discuss it, you can talk about it while you're outside. Um, you can gather in your bag any little dead bugs or um, dead things that you would like to put in here to take back to the class to examine a little closer. Um, you can stop and if you want the kids, if you find something cool, um, a squirrel, the same place that there's a worm on the ground or maybe some birds and trees, you can stop and have them draw um, while you're outside or they can um, wait and you can leave these inside and spend, you know, 15 minutes or so walking around, talking and discussing and then come back into the room and they can spend 10 minutes drawing what they saw. Um, expressing. So we're naming, we're attending as we're walking, we're expressing, we're storytelling, um, all of those things from this experience. Um, so again, they can draw what they saw or that if you find something cool, you can lay that out and they can try to draw that. Um, or if you're just having so much fun walking around, seeing so many cool things, then it's completely fine to just do that too. Um, as long as you're discussing, asking questions, and um, doing it that way. Same thing for week eight, except this week your focus was on plants. And so for plants, again, you're doing the same thing. All things were created by him and for him. And so all of these things were created for his glory. So look at the different plants. Um, you really have to slow 
um, kids down and ourselves down to actually see everything. You know, we tend to just kind of walk, at least I do, walk with a purpose. I'm going from point A to point B. Um, but this is to experience and to create wonder. So stop at a tree, look at the various vines that are on the tree, look at the various things around the tree, talk about the bark. Um, if someone has one of those cool apps where you take a picture of a leaf or a flower and it tells you what it is, you can use those um, to identify, look for different flowers, different colors. Um, you can even this week, so again, same thing. They can draw while you're out on your walk, or you can just enjoy the experience and come back and draw. Um, you'll still have your baggie that you can collect flower samples. Please do not pull up the bushes or trees, but anything that has fallen down, you're welcome to bring back into the classroom and they can draw from that. The other cool thing on the plant week are leaf rubbings. If you've never done those, if you find some leaves that have fallen, you put them under your paper and they can use a crayon or a colored pencil and just um, color over it like that. And it creates that leaf imprint, which are super fun. I love doing leaf imprints. Um, so you can do that, twigs, sticks, all of that, um, different kinds of seeds that fall um, down from trees. All of that is incorporated into our plant week. So experience it, create wonder, ask questions, um, but go back to Colossians 1.16, draw if you want, um, use your baggies if you want, and just have fun. Thanks.